It seems when it was announced on the March 6th that Blue Lagoon will be open, it became fully booked. Now we are seeing that the direction of the wind in the remaining uh, eruption site, that is a K1 crater that I have named K1, uh, the gas pollution has increased slightly uh, and the direction of it because it's localized. Now the lava is locally uh, moving around and we have a lava tube from the rim issuing a lot of gas. Uh, this may have caused the closure of the Blue Lagoon. Of course, the industrial activity and the volcanoes from the faraway lands in Northern Hemisphere causes also some pollution levels to be raised. So because of that, Blue Lagoon will be closed to, uh, today and tomorrow it will be decided to open it again. Uh, the volcano, as I mentioned in many other videos, is now localized because of the shattering of the cone. Practically what we have now, the lava is just limited to that area around the uh, uh, crater, which I've called K1. And the gas pollution is also around there. Blue Lagoon is just three and a half kilometers away from that site. But it's not in, under the direct threat for the volcano. But the air quality varies according to the wind direction. For monitoring the air quality around the area, uh, they have installed a lot of uh, measuring devices to measure the pollution due to the sulfur dioxide and hydrogen uh, di uh, sulfide gases to be sure that the best service is provided for the visitors and the tourists.